Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Outriders video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the most OP build so far with the Technomancer. Now the Technomancer is a class that I chose first and honestly I have no regrets with making that decision. I can comfortably say that I will enjoy maining this class for quite some time. I've sunk in a little over 10 hours with the Technomancer overall and I have come up with a build that I find to be really overpowered to the point whereby enemies can't even touch you. Before we dig deep into this build allow me to just quickly introduce you and briefly go over the Technomancer's abilities that are currently available in the demo. First we have Scrapnel. Throw a proximity device that causes the damage type interrupt and deals explosion damage for enemies that are caught within its blast radius. Next we have the cryo turret. Place a turret that automatically locks onto enemies, shooting freezing bullets that not only deals damage but also freezes them in place. The health of your turret slowly depletes over time and can also be shot down by enemies. The pain launcher. Place down a missile launcher that will fire missiles in a directional line which cancels enemy skills and deals huge amounts of damage. Fairly self-explanatory. And last but definitely not least, we have Blighted Rounds. Fill your current weapons magazine with decay-infused bullets that inflict toxin onto enemies. Enemies that are close by will also receive toxin damage, slowly draining their health. This skill will end as you reload or change over your weapons. There are more skills for the Technomancer, however these are the skills that are available right now in the demo. Now that I have introduced and explained what each ability does, let me talk about this pretty insane build that I have found. Now, any weapon can technically be used when it comes to this build, however I do recommend using either an assault rifle or a light machine gun, preferably the LMG as it has more ammo therefore more bullets to fire. The three abilities that you're going to want to have equipped is Cryo Turret, Pain Launcher and Blighted Rounds. And this is where the fun begins. As I explained above, Blighted Rounds causes you to inflict decay onto enemies when shooting at them, which also causes the decay to drain the life of all close by enemies too. Upon activating the skill, your gun will have a tone of green covered over it and your bullets start to look green and corrupted. If an enemy comes too close, throw down your ice turret and freeze them in your path and continue to gun them down with your blighted rounds on your LMG. The passive for the Technomancer is that every time you shoot a single bullet into an enemy that causes life steal to happen, meaning that you are also regenerating health back upon every shot you land. And just when you think it all ends there, blighted rounds is said to finish as soon as you reload. However, every time you kill an enemy that was infected with your blighted bullets, fully restores your ammo into your magazine. Also, activating blighted rounds refills your magazine too. So for maximum usage, throw down your ice turret and create some frozen enemies. Typically in this game and the difficulty level, the more enemies you kill, the more enemies that will spawn in their path. Gun them down with your assault rifle or your LMG and wait for your ammo to almost reach zero and then activate your blighted rounds ability which then automatically refills your magazine and then watch as the chaos unfolds right before your eyes. Numbers are going to start flying all over your screen as more and more enemies become infected with toxin. You can quite I'll literally just hold your shoot button down at this point as long as you kill an enemy before the ammo runs out, your magazine will refill back to the top automatically, thus keeping the blighted rounds ability still active. This is very very strong and I've actually wiped out entire areas without reloading because of this. In most encounters that have large amounts of enemies, eventually there's going to be a boss fight. Boss fights are quite bullet spongy in this game so you're gonna need all the firepower you can get. By implementing this method that I have explained above, you'll find yourself sinking bullets into bosses much easier and defeating them much faster. If things get too hairy whereby you do eventually have to reload, throw down your pain launcher and rain hell onto them whilst you take cover and reload your weapons, ready to get back up and go all in yet again. I have personally found it so easy to mount bosses down with this method and I highly recommend you give this a try, even if you're not maining the Technomancer. It's insanely fun and very satisfying to see all these damage numbers appear and knowing they're all coming from you. It goes without saying that at this point I am really liking the Technomancer and I really cannot wait to get my hands in the full game so that I can dig deeper into to some more insane builds. Like I said at the start of the video, having tried all four classes, the Technomancer is the one that suits me best. I love the idea of freezing enemies with both my melee attacks and my turret. I love the idea of causing toxin damage and having that spread all over my enemies causing them to slowly melt down. I also really love the fact that with any class in this game, you can provide any type of role when playing with your friends. Whether it's defensive, supportive, damage output, or one and done attacks, you can quite literally do that with every class in the game. Some can obviously perform better than others, but honestly it comes down to how well you can utilize all your class abilities in any given situation. Overall, I think the skill set for the Technomancer is really well balanced, and I love how well they've put together this class. And I love going into Outriders, playing the Technomancer, and feeling like an absolute god whilst doing it. Guys, I really hope you try out my build recommendation, and let me know in the comment section below exactly what you think about it. I really hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are and until next time take care people